His neon candle blazed up the field, starting in the last row but charging through a white haze to finish first as the new world champion. Cardell Potter's bright yellow ski doo won Sunday's last chance qualifier at the Eagle River Derby track and circled that giant oval faster than several veteran champions. Yeah, last year I really struggled here. You know, I tried working the top side here last year, and uh, that wasn't the answer. And this year, you know, I, I tried a little, little bit different of a plan and, and just tried to get in the bottom, and it was able to work for me. You know, it was rough down there, but I was able to make it go, and, you know, I could still get a good drive off the corners. The ice track on those sloped corners gets torn up plenty as heavily modified sleds dig deep and drive hard. The safe bets were on Malcolm Chartier, 2013 and 14 winner, on his fresh ski starting in the lead position. ski dominated with 2010 champ Matt Schultz taking the hole shot and leading most of the race while Potter worked his way up. Potter took the lead with six laps to go and Schultz finished seventh, while Chartier took second place instead of becoming the first to win three years in a row. It's tough, you know, you gotta, I was in the snow dust the whole time, so being able to hit those lines that I wanted to hit was a little more difficult, but, you know, I feel that we were in a great position the entire race to capitalize on any breakdowns or any fatigue from the other drivers, so I was working off of that and just trying to uh, be the right place at the right time. As a young kid, my dad was racing this sport, so I just wanted to be like with Bops and, and follow his footsteps, and it kind of just evolved from there. The week-long snowmobile derby is always a family event. Ceremony is strong, and tradition means everything. Young children compete, as do women and veterans, some on antique snowmobiles. For almost all of its 52 years, Dick Decker has been the owner and director. His son's name is on the championship cup, carved into history with winners from across the northern U.S. and Canada. May they race fair, may they race fast, and most importantly, may they be safe and keep them safe. Dustin Wall first raced in the championship 15 years ago and ever since has been trying to win it. He says speed is the only thing on a racer's mind, not danger, except maybe when it crashes at your feet like Glenn Hart did during the race. Unfortunately, I'm seeing that now as I'm watching this, but um, as far as when you're out there, you don't really worry about it too much unless your sled's driving absolutely terrible, but most of our sleds nowadays would drive so good that we uh, don't really worry too much about the danger. Most fans stand outside, but some enjoy heated seating. They get to watch the crews at work for 10 minutes after the 10th lap. 20 more laps followed in a whirlwind with fewer interruptions than most years see. Schultz had a healthy lead, and when Hart crashed into those hay bales, it forced a restart that ended his fortunes and gave Potter his shot. In the last lap, 2012 champion Nick Van Strydonk's Polaris passed four-time champ P.J. Wanderscheid's Arcticat to grab third place. You know, we knew coming into this we were going to have to battle. Um, so we just decided to lay back and let corner one work itself out anytime there was a start. Um, but I think it worked out to our benefit. You know, we let the guys bump bang a little bit. Uh, we just kept it clean. I'm not going to make any excuses about it. You know, we, we rode a second place race today, and that's, that's all it is. I don't believe that any injuries or whatnot, you know, prevented us from being on the top spot. It was just uh, it wasn't our place. It wasn't our time today. There you go. Get him there. Get him. 